coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Robinson's R44 cadet receives FAA certification. Doc is getting closer to first flight. Opposition to Norwegian air increases. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's May 11, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Earlier this week, the Robinson Helicopter Company announced that the FAA has certified their two-place Robinson R-44 cadet helicopter. Robinson Helicopter says that by combining the best of the R-22 and R-44, along with what they are referring to as a modest price, they will appeal to the training market as well as operators that want the economy of a small helicopter with the comfort, power, and performance of a larger helicopter. The Cadet's airframe, rotor system, and power plant are the same as the R-44 Raven 1. Where the Cadet differs is the rear seats have been removed to provide cargo space, the maximum gross weight has been reduced to 2,200 pounds, and the engine power has been derated to 210 horsepower takeoff and 185 horsepower continuous. Robinson says the lower weight and derated power provide increased performance margins at high altitudes and extended the time between overhaul. Preparing a freshly restored Warbird for its first flight is an exciting time, but it takes on a special meaning when the aircraft weighs in the range of 70,000 pounds and has four 2200 horsepower engines. The team restoring the B-29 dock to airworthy condition has released a video from the recent dynamic propeller balancing on all four propellers. In a blog post, Restoration Program Manager Jim Murphy says, this is another one of the final steps before first flight. The actual timing for the first flight is dependent upon issuance of the FAA Airworthiness Certificate approval from the U.S. Air Force to use the active non-jet use runway at McConnell Air Force Base as an operating home for the docks flight testing and the crew's overall comfort level with initial taxi test and other ground testing. The restoration group docks friends is anxious to fly the plane, but they say they're taking care not to rush it. After the break, Alpa puts out ads against Norwegian Air. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, or our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Or, if you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at arrow-news.net. On April 15th, the U.S. Department of Transportation tentatively approved Norwegian International Airlines' request for a foreign air carrier permit to allow it to operate flights in the United States, and that action was met with fierce opposition to their approval by several entities in the United States. In the context of resounding protests from members of Congress and more than 16,000 airline pilots, ALPA this week launched an outreach campaign featuring ads in prominent Washington, D.C. news outlets. The ads were co-sponsored with the AFL-CIO and the Association of Flight Attendants. In addition, ALPA released a whiteboard video underscoring how NIA's business model would undermine labor standards and the intent of the U.S. International Trade Agreement to threaten a free marketplace and U.S. jobs. NIA plans to use flight crews employed on Asian employment contracts while flagged in Ireland, creating a flag of convenience scheme, which ALPA and many in Congress claim is completely at odds with the European Union Air Transport Agreement. It's claimed this plan is to avoid Norwegian labor tax and regulatory laws. 
With some 2000 Errol TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look back at one of our favorite Errol TV classic episodes. Described as a yoga class in the middle of a rock concert, the EAA seaplane base at Air Venture Oshkosh is a pleasurable place to sit on the grass under a shade tree and watch the airplanes float by. In this 2009 video, you'll see what we mean. After the messages, the force awakens at Air Venture 2016. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Now Bree is going to take us around the patch. Thanks, Christopher. Just in case you haven't had your fill of Star Wars movies, you'll have a chance to see the latest Star Wars The Force Awakens at EAA AirVenture. This feature and some other great flicks are on schedule for the fly-in theater during this year's event. NASA and its International Space Station partners have announced the crew members for missions to the orbiting laboratory in 2017. The selection includes first-time space flyer NASA astronaut Scott Tingle and veteran Randy Bresnick. Tingle was a naval aviator and Bresnick came from the Marines. The Teamsters Airline Division Local 284 has reached a tentative agreement with NetJets on a five-year contract for approximately 50 flight dispatchers. This is the first union agreement for the NetJets dispatchers, leading to a wage increase of 18.5%. British company Strad Aero made a $24 million deal with Fort Worth-based Aerokinetics last year to promote its entrance into the drone market. Strad Aero now has sued the company, saying they made, quote, misrepresentations to induce them to enter into the deal. GoPro announced a significant loss in the first quarter of 2016. The downturn means that the launch of the company's much-anticipated proprietary drone named Karma will be delayed by several months. They say the new drone may be introduced during the holiday season. That's the trip around the patch. Back to you, Christopher. The man thought to be the last surviving Japanese pilot from Pearl Harbor attack has gone west at the age of 99. Karame Harada was Japan's oldest ace, according to a report from the New York Times. While Harada did fly at Pearl Harbor, he said at one time he was disappointed that the mission was to protect the aircraft carriers and not to attack the base. After a crash landing at Guadalcanal, he returned to Japan and became one of the pilots training others how to become kamikazes. After the war, he became a farmer and a pacifist. He said, War robs you of your humanity by putting you in a situation where you must either kill perfect strangers or be killed by them. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. 
Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. From the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource, always have an out.